Hey guys, Gav here once again. So in the last video I showed you how to select blocks and make selections using the uh, WASD keys and using the select function which is pretty much on by default. So let's show you how to do other things with that. So as you can see here I just made a selection. You have the blue corner and the yellow corner and uh, let's make a tower sort of selection. So as you can see here, I've selected a decent amount of blocks and my computer's lagging a bit as it catches up, but I'll move out and up so you can see exactly what I've done here. So I've essentially uh, selected a very large amount of space where I want something to be in. And as you can see here, it's a five by five cube at the base that goes 21 high. You can do a bunch of different things. If I selected this all the way into the ground and then press the delete key, I could delete all of those blocks as I just did. And I'll show you that uh, specifically after this. But I can also fill it with something or create something. So let's say I wanted a column that was five by five and 21 high, and I wanted it to be uh, filled with, let's say something difficult. Let's type in ub, obsidian and there you can see that block type 49 is obsidian and we'll click that and then press OK and then I can either replace whatever's there or I can fill it in this case I don't really think there's a huge difference uh, that I can remember right now but then it will create that and then it needs to reload the chunk so select something else double click and then it'll work to reload that chunk. And let's see if it does. It sometimes takes a short second, oh, there we go, to uh, reload that. Now, if I were to make a 21 by five by five block of obsidian normally, it would take me, I don't even know how many diamond picks and time just to harvest all that. It'd be absolutely ludicrous. This is therefore a much easier way to do that. Now you can do that with almost any block type. Uh, some of the blocks are a little bit tricky, especially blocks, especially the half blocks. Uh, let me see. Hmm. Oh, well, um, there are specialty blocks though. If you're putting down a torch or fire or anything like that, it looks a little bit different than it would in game because uh, the game registers it as being an entire block and not just like a little part of one. Uh, but be, full, be sure to fool around with that if you're looking for something. Uh, so as I said before, you can also tunnel deep into the ground. Let's see if I can find a, another place to do this where it makes a little bit more sense. Um, so yeah, let's select something here. So select that, select that, click again, and then we'll use the nudge key to go down, pressing the Z key. So let's say you wanted to make a very deep uh, mining shaft tunnel, you didn't really feel like mining something out, or worrying if lava was underneath you, you just wanted to get it done so you could start mining. You could move that down, and as you can see again, because this is somewhat resource intensive, it's taken a little while to do this, especially on my little laptop here. But once that is done, that's 37 deep, four by four, just press the delete key, and that will delete all of those blocks. So uh, it said there around 400 or so. Deselect by clicking any other block. and we can move in here and take a look. Now, if you're looking totally uh, at the bottom uh, of your axis and you're moving the, around with the WASD keys, you're gonna move basically just in a uh, two-dimensional plane, not 3D. You can fix that by just slightly looking up and then moving around. But as you can see there, very deep, I could go down there using the Z key this normally would take me quite a uh, significant amount of time to do. Right there, just took around five seconds. 
So, uh, yeah, I'll be showing a little bit of uh, the other things in this program in future videos, so keep watching if you're interested. Thanks for watching, though.